Let's say I want to put a different texture on every side of a cube. How would I do that? Well, let's build a default cube here and now we'll scale it up to let's say two meters on each side. Now by default this cube has of course the ordinary chipboard texture on each side. So on the edit dialog box here the default tab is already selected. If it isn't just click on it there and up here near the top you will see an option in the radio buttons to select just the faces to texture. So we'll click on that and immediately you will see that this white crosshairs gets drawn on every side of the cube. Now that indicates that the texture that you apply will be applied to each one of those sides. So if we want to select just one or two sides what we can now do is click on what, whichever face of the cube we want. So I'm going to click, click just there and now we see that the crosshairs is just on this side of the cube not on these other two faces or any of the faces in the back either. And this means that the texture change that I make will be applied just to here. So let's prove that now by clicking on the texture box and selecting a texture from our texture library. So I'm going to select just the first bricks texture there. And we'll see that that texture gets applied just to that face. Now we can apply a different texture to this face just by clicking on it first. It gets selected, you see the crosshairs there. And again I can click on the texture box. I'm going to choose a different texture. I'll use the a tile texture, I think. And you see it gets applied there straight away. And again I can click on this one and apply a third different texture to that face. So I'll pick granite, I think, in this case. And that renders there. So if we take a look around at the back of the cube now, we'll see that those other faces are still in the default look here of the chipboard or wooden pattern. Now, let's do something a little bit different this time. If I click on this face, it gets highlighted. But let's say I want to apply uh, the texture change to both these faces at the same time. Well, the way I do that is by holding down the shift key on the keyboard and then clicking on the second face. So now just both those faces have been selected. And again, I can click in the texture dialog box and now select the texture that I would like to apply just to those two sides. And I'll go for mahogany here. So that's how you pick just one side or multiple sides of a particular shape and apply a texture change just to those sides.